Hi guys, welcome back. Someone sent me one error uh, for clarification related to product costing. So I thought better I will explain here so that it will help others also. Let's check this uh, business process. So one manufacturing company, they are, manu uh, they are calculating the product costing and they want to calculate the plant cost. And uh, when they have calculated the plant cost, in that cost calculation, so obviously you know that when we are going to calculate the cost, different components uh, will be there in the cost uh, calculation. So one is your material cost, then your uh, uh, activity cost, or which we are saying that various type of uh, operational cost and your overhead cost. So here the error is in the cost calculation, material cost is properly captured, whereas the activity cost and your overhead cost or indirect cost is missing. So what could be the reason? Now exactly I don't know what is the issue here because I have not checked what is the system issue. What are the probable errors or whatever uh, probable issues are there in this situation that I'm going to explain each point. Similarly, if you are going to get any interview question on this, so in this way you can answer because as you know that in interview, always you will get uh, scenario based questions here. But I will take one uh, scenario that is which I have taken uh, from my live session. So that is on plant cost calculation or product costing so that we will uh, check that and I will highlight that what are the areas issues might be uh, there. So let's start from the beginning. Uh, user, assume that user executed CK11N or CK40N on the basis of the cost calculation for their finished material and here all type of materials captured, the raw materials, the work centers, everything is properly uh, th is there as per the business process. But the end result system calculates the raw material cost correctly but the activity cost like your machine cost, labor cost or any uh, any any other assembly cost everything is uh, is missing and simultaneously overhead is also missing so you can uh, take this uh, uh, picture which i have captured now here uh, these are my various type of raw materials these are various type of raw material in fact uh, this is one semi finished stock so this one is semi finished stock which is calculated then after that it is added with fg and this is my fg uh, this 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 particular product master data is fg now assume that the similar situation is there or similar scenario is there so everywhere the material cost is properly there anywhere you will find the activity like this one then these are two areas then this one right and uh, this overhead so in in this cost calculation only material cost is captured and all the activity cost is zero or it is not there and obviously as uh, activity cost is not there then overhead is missing so overhead may be like you can say material overhead is there let's say this one is available but the activity overhead is missing so basically here the issue is related to activity and we will find out what could be the reason why this activity probably it is uh, missing so what could be the probable reason first reason as per me that activity cost is missing here on the basis of your like uh, I have listed those you can see the first one is costing variant configuration so we know that we have to go for a detailed calculation process under this uh, costing variant which you are going to configure under O double K N transaction code and which is very crucial part of your cost calculation and that need to be assigned so when user is going to run the cost calculation so they have to assign the costing variant so this is one uh, I captured the same like this is end result and this one will work if you have a costing variant is there so in costing variant we are going to add all the rules related to material cost activity overhead and everything and the same costing variant should be reflect in your cost calculation now assume that if it is not there or let's say it is not properly configured so if the costing variant is not there or it is not system is not capturing the costing variant or it is not properly calculated related to the uh, related to the activities then in that case might be the activity related costs or overhead costs are missing so that could be one reason related to the cost calculation now assume that it is there so assume that it is there then what could be the other reason so if next one is uh, the related to your activity cost which we you are going to upload in kp26 so this is one uh, i capture from kp26 uh, screen and here like you can see this cost is calculated the plan cost per hour cost or per unit cost should be there now if activity cost or if system is not able to derive the activity cost from the cost center from the cost center planning so in that case the activity cost also will not reflect in your cost center or i mean in your cost of production calculation so this could be one of the reason and in fact this is a, one of the configuration steps which should be there in the cost calculation might be it is missing or if the configuration is there for that period or 
data is not uploaded so as a result system is not able to uh, capture those cost related to the respective cost estimation or system is not able to pick up so that could be another reason you can check this particular point also if that one is there then let's come to the uh, PP part because we know that uh, when we are going for cost calculation it is integration between CO and PP so coming to the next one here uh, as you know that work center is very important for the cost calculation point of view and make sure that when you are designing your operation it is basically uh, from production point of view the settings will be there but it could be one of the reason if cost is not there or uh, I mean cost calculation is not there so that means when the work centers are designed maybe in that work center the activity types are not applied or routing issue may be there so it is not properly calculated or if routing is there operation part is not maintained properly so that means system calculates uh, your app, uh, activity cost on the basis of your activity type that we are going to assign to the cost center so might be any cost center uh, is missing or like a cost center I don't think it will be missed because it will be a mandatory field in the configuration so when the work center will be created so no one can skip this one but might be maybe issue with the parameter or in standard value key or uh, that because of that maybe this activity type this portion is not coming properly so that could be one of the reason in the cost calculation so if this one is there then maybe uh, other option we can say cost component structure so issue with the cost component structure because we know that uh, on the basis of cost component structure you are going to have your bifurcation of cost will be there so th that is also another important reason if something is missing related to cost component structure now you can see uh, various type of cost component this is my cost component structure and under this cost component structure multiple cost component attributes I have created and accordingly those configurations will be there so the cost component structure is going to define fine and uh, it is going to appear in your cost estimation when you are going to run this one or when user is going to run this one so if the activity cost components are missing that means system here not able to or system won't able to display them so might be that could be one reason so that means in this case the cost component structure should be configured or that area also need to be rechecked before execution uh, before re-execution so that could be one of the reason if that is there then the last region could be that is related to overhead configuration so when you are going to define the costing seat this is particularly overhead related to overhead so when we are designing the uh, your overhead or uh, costing seat calculation so in this costing seat calculation overhead configuration should be there if your in overhead internal overhead costs are missing then check the overhead cost configurations in your costing seat so this is my overhead configuration and this is my rate which I have uh, captured from my configuration so this part also you need to check so that could be one of the reason if your activities are not or your overhead is not coming so as per me these are the areas where you need to check or if uh, this type of questions will be there uh, in, in this way you are going to answer because definitely in interview scenario questions will be there so in that case you are going to cap touch all these points so if we we'll, uh, summarize then what are the areas we discussed today so always you need to check your KP26 where we are going to upload our plant cost related to activity so when activity cost is missing so maybe uh, the value is not coming so we have to ensure that proper cost center and activity type need to be assigned to the work center that also one point we discussed then overhead cost also need to be required uh, correctly need to be configured if that one is missing then might be one issue and the last point cost component structure if it is missing or uh, issue with the configuration so might be that could be the reason so if you have any type of this type of errors or any interview questions you are getting mail me so I will happy to create scenario and I will explain in detail so that it is going to help you as well as it will help you others also so very soon we will see another scenario or another video uh, thank you